Hey y'all, how are you doing today? I wanted to hop on here and talk to you how important it is for us to have effective communication no matter who we're talking to. Whether it's our boss at work, whether it's our spouse and our children at home, whether we're at church or we're out um, at a restaurant or a store, even in those moments where we're frustrated with customer service, it's still important for us to consider how we're talking to the other person. We don't know what they're going through. They don't know what we're going through. And even in times where we're frustrated with the process, we still have to deliver what we need to happen in a way that is pleasing to the other person or acceptable to the other person. When it comes to our children, oftentimes we will talk to them in a way that may be too stern where they are receiving it negatively or they're internalizing or they're feeling rejected or not loved. We have to be careful with that. It's okay to be stern and to give direction. But whatever direction we give them, it should be in love. Trust me, our children are watching us. We are a blueprint for them on what effective communication looks like. We are a blueprint for them on how to communicate in general. And so when they see us talking to our spouses any kind of way, raising our voice, having attitude, jerking our neck, rolling our eyes, smacking our teeth, Whatever it is that that you do, they're going to mimic that behavior. So when you see them out and about at school, talking to their teachers, hanging out with their peers, and you see the behavior that you have displayed, oftentimes we'll want to discipline them. But it's not fair to go and implement discipline with the behavior that you have taught. Instead, what you have to do is take the time to say, you know what? I have to do better with how I am showing them how to communicate. So let me work on me, but let me also explain to them that what I did and how I communicated, it wasn't correct. And I'm going to do better and fix it. You will be amazed with what that will do to your child and you going back and being able to say to them, hey, you know what? I really shouldn't have said it that way. I apologize. This is how I should have said it. And going forward, I'm going to do better with how I'm communicating. The same thing goes with your spouse. If you know that you are talking to them in a way that has a tone, that has an attitude, that makes them feel rejected or whatever it is, whatever negative emotion it is that they may have expressed to you, then you have to do some research within yourself and say, you know what, is there a better way that I could say that? Because to be honest, you want to be able to say things in a way that the other person can receive it and hear it and understand. Communication is not about just us being able to say what it is that we feel. It's about the other person on the other end being able to understand it and to work toward a solution, uh, whatever it is that the, the communication is needed to um, to bear fruit of, that is what the purpose is of the communication. So it can't just be about how you see it. It has to be about how the other person person sees it on the other end. And the only way to ensure that that happens is if you take some time to stop, think about what you're going to say, and ensure that you're sticking to the topic of what you are discussing, not going off and talking about other things that have absolutely nothing to do with the topic. Sometimes we'll do that with our children, we'll do it with our spouse, we'll do it with customer service, you know, we'll, we, uh, and, and they don't, they don't have it, what, what we're talking about has absolutely nothing to do with the present. And what that does is, is it 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 puts a haze over what the current situation is and it causes it to be difficult for us to work toward a solution so it's important for us to stay on topic it's important for us to try to take a moment to pause and to think about what we're going to say so that we can ensure that what we're saying is heard and understood I want to challenge you today to communicate in a way that is not just about what you have to deliver, but is also about what the other person has to understand. So you have a good day and you enjoy the ride.